Alright, this video is going to go over how to calculate real GDP income, potentially net taxes and savings is a more advanced topic. But basically when you're calculating these values, you just need to remember your GDP equation and you plug in the values in the associated spots. Now the trick to getting net taxes or savings is to recognize these equilibrium conditions. So if we assume that we have a balanced budget, which is most often assumed in introductory classes, and we have a closed financial sector, which means that we don't allow for international finance to occur, then government saving plus private savings equals economy-wide savings, and thus equals investment. So if you're trying to find savings, if you know what investment is, that's equal to savings. Now. With a balanced budget, meaning the government isn't saving or running a surplus or a deficit, then taxes are equal to government transfers, which means the money they give back to the people, plus government spending. So if we want to find net taxes, net taxes is equal to taxes minus transfers because we're taking taxes from people but then we're giving money back to people. So the net tax amount is going to be equal to this government spending value or government expenditure. So when we get this G value, you can equate that to net taxes. So remember this equation, Y equals C, consumption spending, I, investment spending, G, government spending, plus NX, or net exports, which is equal to exports minus imports. So exports are good for the economy, they give people jobs, Y goes up, imports are bad, taking away from domestic production, it makes Y go down. So what if we are given values? We can calculate GDP and income, which are the same thing, relatively easily. So if we are given the values for C, consumption spending, say it's... nine trillion four hundred and eighty four billion so all these are in billions investment spending could be one trillion eight hundred seventy billion government spending is going to be two trillion four hundred and eighty billion exports going to be one trillion eight hundred and four billion and imports two trillion two hundred and eight billion so to find what real GDP is we have to plug these guys into our equation so remember y equals c plus i plus g plus nx and nx is equal to x minus m so we plug these values in when we plug these values into our y equation we get y equals 9484 plus 1870 plus 2480 plus 1804 are exports minus, and this is the key trick here, imports. So don't just add them all together. Add them all together except for imports. Equals is a minus sign. So when you add all those guys together, you'll get a total of 13 trillion. 430 billion and that's the real GDP during this time period and real GDP is going to be equal to income because if you think about it real GDP tracks the value of everything produced the final goods and services and so those goods and services need to be bought and when they're bought or sold the people who sell those goods and services receive that money as income so real GDP is going to be the same as income uh, for the purposes of your introductory level class. So there are more complicated ways of doing it, but just this is a good way for now. And if you remember before, we wanted to find the value of net transfers. That's going to be government spending because we had taxes equal to transfers plus G. So net taxes is equal to T minus TR, that's net taxes. 
and based on this equation here that has to be equal to G so our net tax amount is equal to our government spending and likewise our saving amount is going to be equal to our investment amount because we assume that we have a closed financial sector.